we are back with part two. How do you do two? Do you do two like this or like this or? I always do this like a peace sign. Peace sign. Do you do two peace signs or is this four? That's four. Two. But, you know, you can make your own reality. <laughs> All right, those of you who are joining back with Caroline O'Neill, who is a stand-up comedian and writer known for Two Broke Girls, let's give her some fun questions. If you fly in your dreams, how do you fly? How do I fly? Not, hmm, trying to remember the flying nun, maybe kind of flat with my wings out, my arms out. All right, that's your flying influence, the flying nun. Yes, yes. Very cool. <laughs> Absolutely. Do you ever see repeating numbers? I do. Oh my gosh, yes, frequently. And it's it's always 1010, which is when I was born. It's on my birth certificate. I appeared at 1010 in the morning. And sometimes I just see 1010 everywhere. Everywhere I look. Completely random. And that always gives me pause. Hmm, what's going on? Is it, are you pensive at that time or you? Yeah, I always tuck it away and then I think about it later and try to figure out what that could mean or if it's just random encouragement from the universe affirming my life force. Who knows? Could be both. I would say uh, check in with yourself right before you see it. Uh, like yeah. you see it and then uh, backtrack to the moment before you saw it, what was going on with your consciousness? Ooh, that's a good tip. Yeah, see that, see that. Oh, I like that, yes. Is there a favorite, no, not a favorite, is there a food that you wish you liked but your body just will not accept? Yes, I wish I liked broccoli. <laughs> But I don't. I know it's so good for you. And my children are grown and they nag me all the time about broccoli for some reason. I'm like, no, when I turned 40, I gave it up as a gift to myself. Oh my it doesn't agree with my body. I don't like the taste of it. I even think it looks a little eh, questionable. So usually in the refrigerator, green is not a happy color. And hi, broccoli. I got red flags with the broccoli, but I wish I didn't because I know it's very, very healthy. Mm, mm. Uh, which countries would you like to visit? Oh, I'd like to visit Germany because that's where my elder daughter lives. Um, if I had to travel, if I couldn't live in Los Angeles, I would live in Madrid, Spain. Mm. I absolutely love Madrid. It is amazing. The people are peaceful. They're polite. They speak quietly in restaurants so you can have a conversation. They're very chill and yet they're focused. They have things they're going to do, but they're mindful of the people around them. I guess that's the best way to say. So you mindful. haven't been there yet. You know this because Oh, I spent um, a month in Spain in 2019 with my daughter. And we just went from Barcelona, hopped up to Andorra. Then we went to Marbella. And then the end part of our trip was Madrid. And that was my favorite. But where have you not been that you'd like to visit? Where have I not been that I would like to visit? Switzerland. Oh my goodness. You are the third person so far who has said that. Really? And I always, I had a thing about Switzerland. Is this because you love Christmas? This is because I love the band Deep Purple and their song Smoke on the Water is about a nightclub that burned on the shores of Lake Geneva. And so I feel an affinity because of Deep Purple. I hope you're listening, Richie Blackmore. You have influenced my life. <laughs> okay. In my uh, travels. The other people, it was their love of Christmas, and I always wanted hot chocolate, you know, in the Swiss Alps. Oh, my goodness. Uh, nicknames. Were you given any interesting nicknames? Keep it clean. Keep it clean. I've never in my life had a nickname. Never. And I always kind of wanted one because I think that's affectionate. 
you know, you give somebody a nickname, but mm, nope, not so far. Do you give people nicknames? All the time. Yes. Yes. I call my daughter peanut butter for some reason. If I'm really feeling, you know, tender towards her, you know, I'll say, oh, peanut butter and just come in for a big hug. Oh, I don't know why. Are the nicknames you give people usually food? Usually. No, because my other daughter is Bluebird. Oh, so maybe it's just the energy I get off people. I hope I keep my nicknames in the family. I'm going to have to start noticing that because some people don't want to receive kindness and some people don't want to receive a nickname. That's true. That's true. They're not, you know, too, too into that. So with that, I want to say thank you so much for the second part of Cosmic Chats, our fun part. If you need to reach Caroline, all the info will be down there in the description. And we will say, please like and subscribe, be part of our community. You can find more information about what we're doing, where we're teaching. And with that, we'll say toodaloo.